Hokuten Okuro no Ken Hokuto no Ken 6 Gekito Denshoken Hao in no Michi or Mishi for the Super Famicom. There are three of those Hokuto no Ken games on the Super Famicom. They're at least numbered. Uh, five, six, and seven are on there. I got seven on the list, but I don't think I have five. I'm gonna have to look at that again to see if it's a fighting game or should that be considered a beat em up instead. So, yeah, this is a Fist of the North Star game. Oh, at least they tell you the amount of continues you have right from the beginning. You can give yourself infinite continues? Wow, they actually said, like, here, take a finite amount of continues, or you could take infinite. Man, I wish all games did that. But then again, Japan didn't have to worry about a rental community because it wasn't even legal there. Sure, let's just go with infinite continues for the hell of it so we can actually have more time to play. Okay, you get a few characters to choose from. I guess uh, we should go with uh, Kinshiro. I think this one might have an English patch, but I never bothered to look for it because, well, it's a fighting game. Alright, this music is sounding very Seinfeld core. Oh, did I actually counter? No, I didn't. Okay, so I'm seeing that Y is punch, B is kick, A is also punch. I guess X is kick as well. Oh, X is jump kick. Oh, it seems if I hold R, I'm able to charge up that uh, green meter. What it does? Who can say? Hey there, Neil. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. That's just me getting a feel for the controls. If you're really close to your enemy, somehow you just miss. Okay, I have to hold R, and then I have to hit the L button to do that. I think that's how it works. There's an AP meter, too. Oh, can I block that? No. <laughs> Okay, I build up AP and then I have to press the L button, which is the middle meter. Don't know why this game needs to have three meters. It's just a fighting game. But I guess it's an anime-based fighting game, so they have to be very complicated. Oh my god, as soon as I get the meter, it's gone. 
Oh shoot, that's gonna hit me. I got hard red big time. I feel like there's some tech that I'm just not getting. Comes at just a little over half health, at least. It's an improvement. But the hit detection in this game is not great. <laughs> like, if you're too close, your attacks just miss. Which is so weird for a fighting game, because, uh, he hits with every attack. I also find it funny that I can never dodge that special. Like, I get hit out of my special. Oh, and he just knows I'm gonna press L. So the input reading is real bad. It's MK2 levels of bad. I don't feel like the music also fits a fight like this. It's music that feels like George Costanza wants to beat the crap out of you. We are not off to a promising start, as you can see. There's no inputs for our special moves, either. That hit me 100% of the time. I think of all the fights, that special move never missed. Mostly because the hitbox is just his entire body. Okay, wow, I actually dodged it for this. Oh wow, he, that hardly ever phased him. Hey there, Patrick. I'm gonna say that's enough for, uh, that game. So, that was Hokuto no Ken 6, Gekito Denshoken Hao e no Mishi for the Super Famicom. I could not even make it past the first fight. So, if we had to look at the actual gameplay in a vacuum... I'm not giving it, like, very promising score right there. The music just seems a little out of place. Like, the characters were designed really good. It does respect the source material. The problem is, the actual hit detection, at least for Kinshiro's punches on that big guy, I don't know the big guy's name. It's all over the place. And even on normal... On the first battle, the difficulty is just very wonky. So, I don't know. What does chat think? Uh, I want to say it's a one or a two.
All right, Chad says it's a two. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Yeah, it's a two. It's functional. I just need to actually practice it or maybe play with a different character and it might have went a lot better. All right, let's move on to the next game. So this game is called Shaolin. It's a fighting game for the PlayStation, but it was only released in Europe. Funny enough that this game was never released in Japan. Oh, THQ! Well, their reputation was kind of middling around that time. Okay. Cutscene's quite animated. Better do the uh, karate dance. Funny enough, she dressed less in the winter time than in the other season. It's like, oh, it's that guy from that uh, anime that got a Netflix adaptation and he's mad about it. All right, let me see. Is is there any like controls? in this. Vibration, music, versus level. Okay, we'll keep it at medium. There are no controls on the options. I guess we'll start a new game. Oh, you can choose a character. Oh, you can pick a stance. So you know Shaolin, Jeet Kune Do, Tai Chi Chuan, Eight Extremities Fist, Hung Gar, and Drunken Boxing. There's a little bit of a uh, adaptation here. I think that's pretty cool. Well, it is like the game is called Shaolin, so we might as well pick the Shaolin style. Oh, you can even give it a name. Go with the default name, I suppose. The early 19th century. As North America and Europe were on the path to modernization, among other things, 300 years of prosperity under the Qing Dynasty imperial rule came to an end. A series of natural disasters, such as the one behind you, turned the once rich land barren, spreading poverty and famine throughout the provinces. Amidst all of the hardships, there remained a proud spirited group who fought to preserve the heritage of their ancestors. All right, cut to black, get to the loading screen. Guangzhou City Shaolin Temple I assume this is a fighting game. I don't remember, like, if it's exactly a fighting game 
or it just had fighting game set pieces, but it looked pretty cool. So I figured I'd just put it in. Oh, you can't even use the stick at all. Okay, you can run with square. Don't stray too far. Old Limbo worry. Oh, that that's a portrait. Okay, so there's a little bit of exploration. You have grown. What? Okay, this is quite different. I was only... When I saw it on YouTube, all I saw was, like, the actual fighting. They never said there was going to be any, uh... You know, overworldness. You cannot leave town. There are bandits about. You cannot pass without Grandmaster Wan's consent. Grandmaster Wan will be at the school, but he does not see just anyone. All right, well, where's the school to? Okay, you can enter buildings as well. Hello, Mr. Clean. You must be exhausted. Exhausted spelled wrong. You probably want to turn in early. No. But I understand your limitations. Oh, my endurance is just going down normally as I go? This game's eligibility is getting a bit iffy at best now. Have a hearty meal. The way you eat may affect your future. Yeah, I'm sure it's all not gonna feed you. You just go. Okay, you get your... Uh, oh, there's a bit of RPG element to it. So where's the school to? You must be exhausted from your travels. Why don't you rest? The way you rest... Why does everybody care about me resting? That's two straight uh, NPCs that said that. Oh, this must be the school right here. Oh no, it's locked. Hi, June. Did you come to play? Sorry, but I'm busy practicing right now. Visit when I'm not busy and we can play, but not today. Frustrated into the goddamn word for it! This is bullshit! Maybe I'll rest and see if that actually advances things in the game. Okay, I don't want to save. You look well rested. I think I should have just gone to the versus mode, not the story mode. Oh, this must be where I get food. Well, well, it's June. I bet you're hungry. Have any dish you like. Do not worry about the cost. Well, then give me some fried scorpions. I'll have some king crab soup as well. Please come again when you're hungry again. I don't think that will be for a while. <laughs> hey, 
Hey there, Grotus, good to see you. Uh, sadly, the fisting has been postponed because I... I'm kinda lost where to go. See, this is supposed to be a fighting game, but the story mode actually has a little bit going on for it. You're still busy. Trying to join the temple while I was turned down. There's a limit of five apprentices. I want to learn the Shaolin style. I know the Shaolin style, I could have taught you that. Hey there, Cole. Don't stray too far, old Lim will worry. Well, I can't go very far. I want your money! Oh my god, we finally got a fight? Can we actually progress things? Like, you just look like every other NPC! Oh, there's actually two of them. From the looks of things, it's only like X and Circle. What happened to the other guy? Was that a ring out? Oh, R1 is jump. Of a uh, soul caliber element to it, where there are ring outs. I know one of the Fatal Fury games also had ring outs as well. Oh, look at that loading screen! <laughs> That's when he realized he never liked feet after all. That's amazing. Oh, I got copper and experience points. Okay, so we're noticing one thing right away. This game takes a uh, reshift of destruction uh, stance. Where anytime you get beat up. You don't get your health back. When did this game come out? Because I know it probably came out in PAL regions. Oh! You can easily find it on GameFAQs. Okay, it was cancelled in the US. But it... Oh, it did come out in Japan in 99, but it was called Lord of Fist. And it was brought over to Europe in 2000, published by THQ. MediaWorks published it in Japan. I hear the neighboring village was attacked by bandits. They cowered in their lairs, but now they have come into the light again to spread terror. Of course it will bother you after what happened. Oh, I'm sorry to... Never mind. It is nothing. Nothing. Why would you... No! Why would you feel the need to bring it up? Oh, you want to play too?
Oh, they even tell you the name of the song that's in there. Oh, wow! If you hold L1, you get to do some other moves! <laughs> oh, that's a nice, uh, flutter kick. Hey there, Karilu. I'm guessing you just gotta beat up random NPCs and then the uh, master will see you? Oh, nice. Oh, you're still practicing, huh? Yeah, it looks like you just gotta talk to everybody and see if you get in fights. Oh, you want to try again, huh? The fighting seems pretty basic, but you do... If you know to hold L1, you can do other moves. And sometimes you might face more than one opponent at a time. So it's different. What? Okay! This is such an overpowered kick, I like it. Perfect. See ya. Yeah, I usually give it like a week, maybe two weeks, and then I just lower the amount of cost. Maybe you gotta level up as well? I don't know. Okay, max HP is at 100. 70 must be the amount of experience I have. Alright, I'm gonna hit reset. Before we uh, end it here... I want to see what the versus mode is. Maybe this allows you to pick more characters. I think for a fighting game that's actually incorporating more elements outside of fighting games, this actually seems like a pretty good game. Like, it's got a bit of depth to it. Alright, versus better not be just multiplayer. Versus computer. Versus two players. Versus four players. Versus eight players! Is this game RPG enough to not be eligible for Season 3? I don't think it's heavily rpg -ness. I think this is one of those games where it can actually flirt outside being considered an RPG. Yo, this one looks, looks very Chun-Li-like. 
And again, you could choose the fighting styles for each character. Imagine a like a fighter where you have like eight characters in at once. Then I get real busy real fast. What? What? Oh, 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 holy shit! Oh, L1 allows you to change your target. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, you get to fight a panda bear! Okay, this game rolls! <laughs> Let it run at you! Okay, this definitely ups the rating of the game. Holy shit. Alright, can I at least try to beat one character up? Oh no. Oh, this panda's fucking me up. Okay, this arena does not have ring outs. We're just in a dojo with, like, infinite room. Draw distance for this place is kind of low. But I guess they want to make this area bigger than it actually is. Maybe you can actually unlock the panda. Good thing I still have the uh, Shaolin uh, page open on GameFAQs. Oh wow, that's a bit of friendly fire there. Whoa! There's a headbutt. Why does the panda bear grunt like a human? You tried your best. Winner. But in the end, it wasn't meant to be for you. you oh, the jiggle physics. <laughs> they had to pad that in at the end. Oh, there's no... Okay, is there a guide? Like, hang on. I got an idea. Apparently it's something in story mode, you have to battle 100 martial artists and pandas. Oh, I, I just tab in and I find out oh, I'm fighting three pandas now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I guess you can't un cannot unlock pandas, that's... that's... Oh no, now they're fighting each other. Please, don't! Fighting game where it's not three versus one, it's like every woman and panda for themselves. Oh, 
The winner becomes the true spokesman for a World Wildlife Fund. Hey there, Tony. Yeah, sadly, like, for the versus mode, I couldn't even choose my opponents. Otherwise, I would have, like, eight games. Oh, nice, you get an air combo. All right, this is gonna be the last fight we do in that Switch games. Winner. This has already been an improvement. Alright, so that's Shaolin for the PlayStation. Like, the, the story mode itself, like, once you figure out what the hell you gotta do, it does. Oh my. Oh! The word pants! It's a pen of word pants! This is amazing. Oh, wait, is that a. Is that like face paint? Oh, right over one of the eyes? <laughs> they were cooking when they came up with this game. It's like, oh, what does this martial arts fighting game need? You know, let's just throw in some pandas. God, that's actually really good. All right, I. Otherwise, we'd be playing this game the whole stream. Oh, okay. So we gotta give this game a score. Shaolin on the PlayStation. Like a game on its own. How much of it is improved just by adding pandas? Like, the fact that you could just, like, fight multiple pandas, and some of them might wear pants. Like, it just makes, takes the game to a whole new level, rather than just a martial arts fighting game with a story. Hey there, Red Dragon, good to see you. But, if I have to give it some criticism, you don't actually get to play as a panda. The fighting game mechanics are pretty basic. Like, it's your standard martial arts themed fighter. But it gets the job done. I'm gonna say it's a three. Whoa, 50% of you say it's a four. I will say that the pandas do bring it up. So yeah, chat says a four, I say it's a three. We're not that far off. Alright, let's move on to the uh, next game that I got lined up. This is Primal Rage, the Game Boy version. A probe was involved in the development of this port. Oh, default gives you like 10 credits, holy crap. You only have six characters. So they took out, took out Vertigo, and they took out... Oh, oh no, I don't want to pick Chaos! 
Well, I guess I gotta play Chaos now. Yeah, Vertigo is gone. Only Vertigo. I got you with one second left. Look, in my defense, they don't give you enough time to mull over your characters. I just wanted to see who was... who made the cut or not. Ugh. Wish I knew what the special moves were. I know they're... The Primal Rage is not conventional with its uh, fighting game inputs for special moves. But so far, I haven't figured out how to do Chaos' moves. All I can do is just a Haymaker to Sauron's face. Yeah, right in the throat. It's like a dinosaur fossil jaw. Oh no, I'm frozen. I'm frozen again. Yeah, this is a fight I'm loving already. Oh, I'm just gonna back up and then I'm gonna spam my projectile and there's nothing you can do about it. Got perfected. Alright, select seems to do nothing. Start actually pauses. This is, uh. This has been a match. Oh, I actually got a hit on him. Is that like an air throw? Oh, he's got an air throw. Now you're gonna do a finisher? That's a shame. Oh, you can even pause during their victory dance. Let's go with Diablo. That's why I picked in the arcade playthrough. This character is a hell of a lot better. It does things faster. You know, it doesn't even look like you're blocking when you hold back. That does not look like a two-hit combo. I don't even remember how I did the fireball. It's like, pulled it off by accident. Wait, how am I still alive? 
Well, not anymore. Welcome back, we're on to the third game. What? I didn't even see you throw a projectile. It's like, oh, I guess you're just frozen. Just because. God, that's ridiculous. This is only the second fight, by the way. Seems Diablo's tail whips are the way to go. My Hero Academia? No, I never watched it. Alright, that's the cliff. Armadon. Wait, is this the same music from the previous stage? Oh damn, Armadon fucked me up. Turned up the jets right at the end. Did not like the tail whip spam. So I'm gonna give you more of it. Yeah, yeah. Total domination! Now I get to enjoy having a perfect Yeah yeah All right, I seem to have the strat now. Just spam tail whip until you win. Ooh, mirror match. Oh, wow! Got a teleport. Wish I knew how to do that. Oh, that was so close. Look how little he had left. It's right at the O. I want that vengeance.
Ooh, it's a tie. The uh, dinos actually do have a few things of animation. I mean, the idle animation for Diablo alone. Like, just see the tail sway like that. On a Game Boy game. Pretty neat. Uh oh. Oh wow. And I was dizzy for like half the fight. Alright, I think one more try and then we'll switch games. How long I was dizzied? I got out of like a full five seconds. Maybe more. Seems if you hit your opponent too much, it's gonna start countering like every one of your strikes. So you have to back it up a little later, I mean. This is the uh, third game we're playing for for tonight. We got a few more to go, of course. Started real low, but Shaolin brought us up. And this one, for a Game Boy port, it's also up. Oh yeah, now it's just mashes fireball the very moment I do an attack no matter how far away. The AI, like when it's really low on health, gets extremely adaptive in just countering everything you do. Alright, so that's gonna be it for Primal Rage for the Game Boy. I think if you have to look at it as a Game Boy port. It's not that bad. I mean, certainly there are worse Game Boy ports. I.e. Mortal Kombat. That one is definitely better than uh, Mortal Kombat on Game Boy, in my opinion. Question is, what would I give as a rating overall? Because the thing is, the AI does get a bit cheap at the end. But I think a lot of it was because I did not know what all the special moves were. And like how different the inputs are compared to the arcade version. Overall, I think I'm going to give it a 3. I believe a 3 is quite fair. Chad's saying it's a two. Okay, I think we've been in agreement maybe once. Uh, what's the next game? Ah, okay, I see what the next one is. This one I would say probably inspired a lot of fighting games. This is the Famicom port of VR Kung Fu.
Probably one of Konami's earlier games back then. Alright, so you got up to jump, of course. Ate a punch. Oh, you can even bounce off the walls. Sometimes you can use that to your advantage. Alright, so I gotta beat the shit out of Wang. I'm gonna beat this Wang. <laughs> Try to take that one out of context. Got him. Look how happy he is to beat Wang. Tao! Fireballs. It's Kung Fu Karnov. Got him. That went way better than Wang. Oh, Chen. Oh, he's got a chain. I do like that your your blows have a nice bit of feedback to them. Like in the way that the opponents just like freeze up and shake. Of course that'll happen to you too. Okay, it's actually getting close. Oh, come on. Oh, wow, he made a big comeback. Oh, punch him in the nards. Damn, I'm blocked out with my face. Oh my- OH MY GOD! So many consecutive hits! Cause he outranges you! Now I'm doing way worse. Wow, I actually got one hit on him this time. I think he's getting smarter. Fuck off! How does the first attempt go really well, and then the other two attempts go all downhill? Usually you're supposed to get better, not worse, over time. Alright, get, let's give this one more go. I think if I run into an opponent that also likes to jump, I'm gonna be in trouble.
There's no blocking either, it's just... You avoid it or you don't. I'll just give you a little bonus point as a treat. At least Tau is a bit of a tell when it's going to attack. Oh, <laughs> I stuck to him. No, oh, just punch ya. Right in the gullet. Let me see if I'm gonna beat my previous score of 19.3k. I thought I could just, like, chain him. Unintended. I got him! I was able to trap him for a moment. Alright, here's the bonus. <sighs> well, apparently you're not supposed to do that! <laughs> Lang! Clobber Lang. Get it? Get the Ninja Stars. See, we're fighting because only one of us agreed to wear pink. But we didn't coordinate who was going to do it. Ooh, right in the cooter. A Superman attack. He just turns into a, a pointing finger or a hand that's pointing at you when he dives. gonna do way worse in this game, but honestly, uh, this game's a an easy game to pick up. It's very basic. You only need two buttons, and up, and duck, and that's it. Yeah, yeah! Oh, it's this guy again. So you only got like five guys and then it just loops again? Mm, I think he hits harder. Let's see how far we can get on the second loop. So I did one loop deathless! Yeah, let's get this going until I run out of lives. At least until I beat loop two.
This is actually not bad. I think this is the best fighting game so far. Oh wow, I got an extra life. I guess you get that every 30,000 points? Oh wow, he, he went the fireballs immediately. <laughs> Wonder how many loops before this fight becomes bullet hell. It's like it becomes Dodonpachi, the prototype. Well, at least this guy definitely got harder. You're not wrong, it does not have a panda. Probably another thing that sets this game back is that it has this guy. In my opinion, he's the hardest in the whole game. And yet he's opponent 3 out of 5. I feel like he should be the 5th opponent, really. Personal opinion. Okay, we can keep this up. I'm just gonna keep uh, kicking around your shins like this. And if you get hit, it's your own fault. Alright, let's see if I mastered the bonus stage. I got one. I think that's an improvement. Ah, oh, shouldn't I jump that way? No, I sh should have talked. Okay, Deathless Run is still alive. Stage 10. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Flying jump scare! Get him like in the corner like this, like you tend to have a good chance of getting them. Unless he try the Superman attack. Come on. I can keep this up. Come on, Kingpin, let's go. Come to me. This is how I'm gonna keep my deathless run alive. Holy crap. <laughs> yep, there's cheese in this game. Alright, one CC loop two. Let's go again! <laughs> Now the, now the background is green. I like green. Oh, 
Ooh, nice counter. How many levels are there before you find the kill screen? I guess it goes up to 50 and then it stops. So I imagine the game is just gonna run out of colors. Harder to even nail hits. There we go. Wall jump is your friend. Ah, life giving water. Nectar of the gods. Alright, guess I'll have that drink now. Imagine if Tao had to take a hydrate break. He's like, well, now I can't spit fire anymore, because you put out the flames. But now sometimes they'll spit, like, maybe three fire at a time. So it's harder to avoid him now. Let me try to make it close. Be a strat that works forever, yeah, because he's gonna do the the low chain attack. Once he does that, then you're pretty much boned. All right, can I hit more than one thing on the bonus? Okay, I guess fans is kick, swords is punch. Oh, nice anti-air. actually getting tougher. Uh, hit. Oh, when I got hit, it actually froze the other Ooh, like a bee. Sting like a, a bee. I can't believe I pulled it one off. She was making me work for it. I think that's the first time he even nailed that attack on me. I don't think the cheese is gonna work here. He's using the kicks more. If this somehow still works, I'll be shocked. keen on backing up. But yeah, it looks like it's working. The strat still works on loop 3. <laughs> like, why don't I just do the tackle? Like, right there when you're against a wall, you can counter it. No, instead this guy just rather Lisa Simpsons his way forward. Trying to kick air. It's not working out for him. But this time Stop, it'll be so different. I can kill you.
Dang it, Lee, that's the third time you kicked that gong today. Alright, we're gonna go again! Oh, you can even see his, uh... Like, his more erratic movement. Yeah, why not just keep it going while the momentum is going my way? Imagine we could get like a hundred thousand points of score. The score is six digits, we're gonna use all of it. You may not have time to get to the other games, so I might want to play this the whole stream! <laughs> I don't think this guy's gonna try to play spoiler. He's doing a good job at it. Oh! Oh, he's even more dangerous close range. Hit the projectiles? I imagine that's still not a reliable tech all the time. Oh wow, I actually lost. So the Deathless run is over. You know what, I think that's a good ending point for Yar Kung Fu for the Famicom. I think if this keeps up, we'll end up like going on loop 10. And then we never get to play any other games. Yeah, you can go ahead and tell me how many stages there are. I, I, I thought there'd be 50. Is there a hundred? Anyway, let's just find out, how do you feel? There are a hundred stages, good lord. And I only finished like, 16 of them. But yeah, Yihar Kung Fu for the Famicom is surprisingly very good. For a game that's extremely basic, it nails the basics pretty well. And I'm not only saying that because I'm moderately good at the game now. Like, it knows that it couldn't do too much, given that it was like a pretty old arcade title back in the day. But for what it did, it did really well. So you know what? I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it a four. Why not? Well, not a five. I said a four. Chat agrees that it's a four. I think that's probably one of the best games we've played so far. What do I have next? Ah, here we go. We got ourselves another uh, portable port. Fatal Fury Special for the Game Gear. Also, I think this is the only Fatal Fury game on the Game Gear. It was done by Takara, who also did the uh, Genesis port for uh, Fatal Fury 2. Probably the SNES one as well. Alright, I guess I'll take on my...
There I like there's a bit of parallax in the background. Game Gear's graphics are impressive for like an 8-bit uh, handheld. It is! Especially like if it's done by a team that knows how to get the most out of the uh, hardware. Sadly, not every dev can do that. But anyone that, that can, it really shows. All right, round two. What a crab walk. At least Terry's moves are pretty easy to execute in this game. The one thing that's missing in uh, this uh, Fatal Fury port, or Fatal Fury Special port, there's no plane transition. Like, you only have, like, the one plane to fight on, and that's it. Wubba wubba, I'm in the pink today, boy! I can't believe that quote is still in the game, word for word. What about Terry? This time I won't lose. Alright, Duck King, I believe. Oh, this is a very flashy arena. Maybe a bit too flashy for its own good. Yeah, it's just a lot of flashing going on in this place. You can't stay in the corner forever, duck. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, you're so muscular. Muscular. It'd be a pleasure to defeat you. Alright, the old man. Oh wow, I just went right over him. Don't do it. Also, his hitbox is so tiny. Sure, I'm not facing Frodo Baggins. He was a martial arts monk. He took the art of kung fu to keep Sam from eating his lumbus bread. Oh wow, that almost felt like two kicks.
Oh, I, I, was, I was quick on the draw. Pleasure was mine, Master Tongue. <laughs> you got guts, me! I gotta face myself. I think a lot of Terry's moves share like the same uh, directional input, so it makes it very easy to chain them in combos. Oh, good throw. Stunned. That move is way too powerful. Like when he's at critical, he'll just spam it. Alright, welcome back. Oh, you only got three credits. Alright, I'll be Black Terry. You have to be Red Terry this time. Hopefully the outcome will be the same where the red one falls. Reds. Uh oh. Oh my god. I can't seem to put him away on the second round. I keep choking. Finally! 
was hanging on to the very end. I'll give him that. Oh, I gotta take on Andy. God, he just kept countering everything I did at the end. And I had to lead for the last bit of time. Alright, try again. I can't hit him! It just seems like he always has a move when I get nearer. And how does that make him invincible when he does it? Well, I guess because he did it later. Doesn't mean I have to like it. Can't seem to get a beat on him. He's just too fast. Just call me invincible, I shut up. Well, at least I don't have too many opponents left. Anticipated it. What? Yeah, I got him. Now I was just waiting for him to attack and then I attack. Changing up my strategy. just reads my inputs as soon as I attack he's gonna do a special so what if I just do nothing for a while and then force him to have to attack me sadly that doesn't always work I still get hard red some things about this game that I'm gonna have to exploit. And 
then it may not always be easy to do. Oh, he knows what I'm gonna do a special! Even from far away, he just knows. See, he's just, like, forward kicks or back kicks are the way to go. Oh, it's close. Oh my god, if it goes... You hold back one way to block, but when it goes over you, block is the other way. So that drill attack is what really messes you up. Straight into the goddamn word for it. This is bullshit. This might be the last try. Oh, he'll just spam that move now. You just gotta hope that a uh, drill kick goes right over you. Pretty much just panic moved and it worked. Oh, I couldn't even get my block ready in time. that kick before he made contact. You guys just stick out like sore thumbs, excuse me? And you don't, Joe? Oh, he gets to do a grab. Whoa! That was like 25% of my health right there. By that, that's almost all your health right there. Okay. Okay. Okay.
I guess Joe decided to go beast mode for some reason. Oh, it turns out... Oh, they just show you, like, uh, you want to continue? No, you can't. You have zero credits. Game over. So that's Fatal Fury Special for the Game Gear. Honestly, for a fighting game on its own, it's not bad. It, it does miss a lot of what made the Fatal Fury series unique. Having multi-plane arena. This one actually did not have it. Oh, I didn't even notice that Rio was in that game, because I hardly ever pick him any other way. Was he in the Game Gear port as well? I didn't notice. But, like, if you took out the multiplane fighting, that cuts down what makes Fatal Fury unique. But on its own, it's not a bad game. I say it's good enough to be a 3. It's certainly above average what you'd find on the Game Gear, though. Oh, there's a split between 3 and 4. I'm gonna say, like, viewer score is 3.5. Usually that's what I do when there's a tie. Okay, we got ourselves another PlayStation title, so let's, uh... Boot that sucker up real quick. This one, however, was Japan exclusive. This is Slam Happy Rhythm Busters for the Sony PlayStation. This is a game that looks like a neat fighting game, but mostly it looks like a very weird fighting game. Let's see how weird. This looks like a game you'd probably see on the PlayStation 2 as a budget title. But I believe this didn't come out anywhere else. It's got a wide array of characters. One of them might look like a stereotype, though. But, uh, let's find out how it plays, because <laughs> it looks... ...really crazy. Why does the intro go so hard? Because it's slap happy, that's why. Oh, there's even a DJ practice? Let's try the arcade mode. Oh, yo, you don't, you don't even have all the characters. This one looks pretty cool, he plays two characters. 
Oh, X is cancel. That's right, it's a Japanese game. X is cancel and circle is to confirm. I'm pretty sure this does not have an English patch at all. Band power by... Oh! Yep! This is how it looks! The circle button lets you, like, take turns like who's in front. So is a triangle button. I get all the attacks do that. Okay, <laughs> I'll just beat you up with my twin. Her sister, look at this, let's go. And it picks up and just shoots you. And a drill arm. My special is. Oh, I gotta press L2 for that. a little over the top, but I love it. No, oh, we got canceled out of it. So hard to nail your special in this. That's why we win. Oh, you get to choose your opponent? Let's go with her. Where's my bull? Have you seen my bull? No, sorry. <laughs> she doesn't have a bull, so she has to use a motorcycle. Oh, oh no. She's got to nail the special this time. Oh, that's a grab. This ropes ya. One of these days we'll find out what one of their supers looks like. It just won't be this day yet. Okay, stop spamming that. Oh my god. God, that, that rope attack stays undefeated. Oh, I think he got us, yeah. Oh, you have to be super close to even do that move. That's so dumb. Oh, you're gonna duck? I'm just gonna blast him with a shotgun. Oh, we got her. What's this? What? It's a DDR finisher!
I guess I'll go with this guy. Dragon. Oh, they even tell you the name of the song. Oh, he's got a sword. Oh, good thing I didn't pick Zeku. Wait, Leva? Legally distinct credit card advertisement. Okay, AI just waits around and just spams hits on you. I don't know if I have a wake up for you. Oh my god! There's no balance! So they can stay right by you and keep hitting you infinitely. Okay, I guess I can do the same, so I'm gonna do that now. Oh yeah, now thanks for stopping by. around at all. How did that miss? We finally got a round on him. <laughs> that, was that was like frame one on the fight. Go again. Good enough, I guess. I wonder if every opponent actually has like a DDR fighting finisher. Winner. Ooh, do I want, like, Cage Man, or... Yeah, I guess I'll go with this freak. Oh, no, the other guy has a chainsaw. I should've gone with Chainsaw Man. Fight. Meet the beat? Well... It's a less loot track than Beat the Meat, let me tell ya. Tor? You mean Ferator? That's pretty cool that there's like more than one character in the game. That's really a tag team. Like, sometimes you just have, like, one character just by itself. And then the others are like, uh, oh, it's just two girls that are, like, uh, piggybacking each other. And then there's, like, a big goblin being piggybacked by a smaller goblin. That's great. Hey, maybe 
this will actually finish him. No, that's, that only did like 11 hits. Oh, and they beat us. After we did like the Mega Super, they still had enough to beat us back. Oh, they have a DJ move. I want to see it. Neutralized it. No, oh, come on. The reaction to do that just as I'm about to land the finishing blow. He just the big guy grabs you so the little one can just smack you with a sledgehammer. It's so dopey, I love it. Like, you can tell this is a game that does not take itself seriously. That's right, the, the way down still hurts you. I forgot about that. Down or what? Oh, blocked. Oh, this should finish him. No! Okay, now. Yes. Winner. I still could have lost that fight. Hmm. Uh, go with you. Germ kids! <laughs> Fight. Oh, he's got spray paint. He just starts spraying and the whole thing explodes. like a spray paint persona. Oh, Jesus. Big fist out of the ground. This guy's name is Tom Tom. This is taking beating 
one a motherfucker with another motherfucker to a whole new level. It really is. So now the enemies are getting smarter and just using the specials when they know you have zero chance to get away. Like, the very frame, I do an input right next to him. They're getting smarter. <coughs> See? They just know. Loser. Fight. It looks like you have unlimited continues, though, so there's that. Oh, that was enough to take him out. Nice. Fight. Oh, he knew I was going for an attack. That's bullshit. I'm just trying to wait for him to waste the special. Um, you look absurd. I'm gonna fight you. The loading screens actually having these neat comics that are pretty neat. Fight. Give me something to look at while you wait. Oh my goodness. Double power bomb into like a torture rack backbreaker. Come on, do something. Fuck off! The AI input reads like crazy. Like, they should not have that good a reaction time that they know I'm gonna start an attack on the very instant they activate their super. Oh, you cannot block that one, because it's a grab. So the only way to avoid the super from him, you just have to be away. Get him right at the legs. Top heavy. Oh, even when I'm attacking low, he can still grab ya. Oh! Apparently your super supersedes ours.
I'm gonna give this guy one more try, and after that, we're just gonna call it quits with this game. I think we've seen enough. One sliver of pixel and a dream, and I got it. You called? I feel like grab anymore. Because he doesn't want me to stop playing. Winner. I'm okay with that. You. Kill. No. <laughs> oh, he's got a dog. His super is just to sick the wolf on ya! Wait! No, the enemy is the wolf! I thought you had to face the old man! What is this, human killing machine all over again? Can't even hit him! Oh! Apparently when they're flashing, you have to hit him. That's different. by the woofers. Winner. Man, they didn't give him a sword, so I'd just be fighting Sif. Oh, I don't have a choice of who I fight now. Is this the boss of the story mode? Rude boy! <laughs> He's got a big buster sword. Just disband that move, why don't you? And telekinetic grabs. <laughs> All right, the knee. See, that's why it's not nice to be a rude boy. You never know when a pair of chicks are about to fuck you up.
I thought I could just get the knees and I would win. Didn't look a good idea at the time. It worked! Winner. I beat him! Oh, and it just cuts the credits right away. And it just does the uh, credit reel, as well as the character reel. I guess you can't see if each character has their own individual story. Hold on, what did that do? Oh, we didn't even unlock them. What does DJ practice? Uh, let's try Nitro. Will that just be like the Mega Super? Okay, that's really all it is. Failed! That's rude. Alright, that's it for our Slap Happy Rhythm Busters for the PlayStation. Honestly, that was probably the deepest amount of gameplay there was. Like, not only, like, a fighting game, but you also have DDR-style rhythm minigame. And if you do really well, it increases the amount of damage you do. Like, why not many games do that, do they? Yeah, I say this was probably the weirdest one of the whole bunch. But honestly, it's a lot of fun. Alright, so what do we rank this game? Sadly, it does not have pandas. But not every game is going to have pandas, unfortunately. I mean, I know what I'm going to give it. Like, the fundamentals are solid. Frustrating at times. But if you're playing with, like, other people, I imagine it's so much better. And even as a DJ mode. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. <laughs> Okay, that's the first I've ever seen of that. We have four votes. One that says two, then a three, then a four, and then a five. And it's split down the middle. Oh my god, how do you... I've never seen that before. That was split four ways. So, if I do the math, like I add each one and then I divide it by four, that brings it to three and a half. So yeah, I guess Slap Happy Rhythm Busters is a game that is, uh, not conclusive how the chat feels about it. It's not often you run into a fighting game or a beat-em-up that has that. But honestly, I think it's a good thing. But hey, I thought it was a 4, so that's good enough for me. I think people should give it a try. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for tonight's show. I only had a time for... Six games. But those six games... First one was awful. The second one was... Interesting. Uh, the third one was okay. Fourth one was spectacular. Fifth one was, uh... Okay. And the sixth one was weird. 
but it was the good kind of weird. So yeah, I think overall that was a uh, pretty good showcase of uh, games. Alright, so thank you all so much for coming out. Uh, tomorrow I'm off, but on Sunday should be not one but two FPSs. One is Final Doom for the PlayStation, and the second one, provided there's time, which I'm sure there will be, is Duke Nukem Advance for the Game Boy Advance. It'll be pretty interesting to see how the two compare. But until then, take it easy, and enjoy the rest of your night.